Welcome friends, we're studying about humility from the life of Jesus. Uh, let's look at the passage from Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 through 8. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. We're talking about humility, which is to walk um, uh, without being arrogant, without uh, being haughty or prideful. Now, as we look at the life of Jesus, we've uh, seen that though he was God, he did not uh, he did not hold on to that and boast about it. Uh, instead, he chose to walk as uh, a man in all his limitations and fulfill God's purpose uh, for his life. So we truly learn from the life of Jesus the kind of attitude we need to carry. Uh, we as human beings, we need to also be submissive to what God the Father has for us. The life of Jesus is an amazing life of obedience. It's an amazing life of submission. And the authority that Jesus walked with, it flowed from the submission that he had to the Father. He was submitted to the Father in every way. Uh, if there was one person who could have been excused from a life of prayer or a life of um, uh, you know, uh, walking in humility, walking in virtues, walking in the power of God uh, would have been the Lord Jesus because he was the very son of God and he uh, could have been self-willed and done whatever he pleased. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it probably uh, would have been okay. However, you know, the Lord Jesus never, uh, never disobeyed the Father. He always surrendered his will to the Father. We read in John chapter 5 and verse 19, then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son does also in like manner. So in this way, the Lord Jesus was obedient to the Father. He was completely surrendered to the Father. He was dependent on the Father. And the only thing that he carried in his heart was to do the will of the Father. Even at, at times when it was very difficult, we remember the time in the Garden of Gethsemane where uh, he was under so much pressure that he desired that there be a different outcome uh, of, of his um, life. But you know, he surrendered to the will of the Father and said, Father, not my will, but yours be done. So such was the obedience of Jesus that shows us the humility with which Jesus walked. And humility is understood as obedience to God. You know, no matter what our achievements are, no matter where we are um, in our lives, we need to walk obedient to God. We need to walk surrendered to God. And that is true humility. True humility will help us submit to God's plan for plans for our lives. True humility will help us walk in obedience. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of Jesus. Thank you that he lived a life of obedience. Father, we pray that you will enable us, Lord, to continue in obedience and continue in humility. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.